Hi there, Riti this side from ACE IPM. In today's video, we are going to discuss the VARC strategy that you need to follow to ACE the IP mat that is going to be held on 14 June 2021. We'll also touch upon some basic topics as to how you go about covering the SAT specific VA. So let's get right into it. Just to give you a brief overview, we roughly have 60 days of consistent preparation at hand because after that, you will be emphasizing more on boards, but you still can do some light preparation or you can do some practice in that period as well. Because your preparation should be consistent. Here, consistent being a very important keyword. Post that, only light practice is possible due to board exams, as I mentioned earlier. Broadly, five topics need to be covered. So rather than looking at PA as one big chunk, or breaking it down into a lot of topics, we can consolidate the VA into five different sections which are there in the schedule. As you can see, there is RC, there's vocabulary, there's grammar, there's verbal logic, and then there are some other topics of verbal ability that need to be covered. This is a schedule which is followed by students over here with us at ACE IPM. We look at each topic in isolation and discuss strategies for the same. Now, if you want this and a personalized schedule, along with a host of other features that come with our course, you certainly can join us by heading over to aceipm.com. There are a lot of benefits that we provide to our students. The most important one being that the course is taught by people who have actually cleared the exam themselves and can thus help you in a better manner. Our course also includes a set of 22 physical booklets which are delivered at your doorstep so that you always have ample amount of questions to practice. We also provide mocks that are closely aligned with the actual exam. One of the highlighting features is the unparalleled support from IPM mentors and the direct contact with the faculty. Should you have any problem, we're always there to help you. You can book a free counseling session today and also get special discounts on our course. So do visit the website in, if in case you're interested. Now, coming back to the strategy. So the first topic that we're gonna take up is reading comprehension. Now, reading and vocabulary are ongoing processes. It's not something that you can cover in seven days and then forget altogether. On the contrary, it is something that you need to do on a daily basis consistently. You have to give at least 20 minutes of your time to reading every single day without fail. So that is also very essential when we talk about RCs. But for the first few days, you need to start reading something that you enjoy so that you're able to connect with it and you're able to delve into it completely. Once you're comfortable, that is when you need to proceed to the challenging topics and articles from a variety of genres. For example, if IIM Ahmedabad releases its IPM notification today, you'll rush to the website and read everything quickly and you'll be able to comprehend most of it in a very short span of time. Why? because you're interested in that information. On the contrary, if you take up something related to science, let's say theory of relativity, and you are a commerce student, you won't be as interested and your comprehension as well as speed will definitely decline. So that is why the goal is to maintain that level of familiarity with all the topics, because you never know from where these articles are going to come up in the actual examination. There are a lot of sources that you can follow if you wish to follow a newspaper, you can go for The Hindu, especially its editorial page. And then you can also keep a check on the news. Not from the point of view of IPMAT, but usually you do have a section of current affairs in competitive exams. It is also essential to know what's happening around the world because more or less it will benefit you in the PI part. So being aware and awakened will serve a dual purpose for you. Then you have other sources like Eon Essays, Smithsonian Magazine, The Economist, etc. These are all very good sources and would certainly aid you in your preparation. An important point that I want to make is that you need to first work on your comprehension and then only move to the speed. We see a lot of times that people focus on the speed part initially, but because of that, they end up losing touch with the comprehension part. So what I want you to do is initially practice shouldn't be timed. Don't put a clock or timer alongside. 
because it will force you subconsciously to do it within the stipulated time and that will hinder your comprehension part. You chase the speed and end up losing out on the comprehension part. Once you've ensured that you're done with the comprehension part and you're able to retain the information that you've read for all the topics that may arise, that is when you're going to start giving timed tests to improve your speed. Now, for vocabulary, I'll reiterate that it's an ongoing process, just like the reading comprehension. You can refer to word power made easily to begin with. This book is literally considered as the Bible of vocabulary. The book comprises of 47 sessions and you can do one session a day. You can speed up if in case you think you're not left with much time. Once you're done with all the sessions, I'd say reread the book and make a note of all the words that you're not able to recall. Also, maintain a vocabulary notebook wherein you note down all the newly learned words. Cluster them in a way that all the words with the same broad meaning come under a single section. Also, it's not just about knowing the meaning of the words, but also their usage and nuances. For example, irony, sarcasm, satire and humor may look the same to you, but all these are distinct from each other. Knowing these differences is essential to be able to answer vocabulary related questions. Do not neglect idioms and phrases as you'll have four to five questions on this topic, which are quite scoring and you can reach to the correct answer even by making educated guesses. Finally, going through the word list is of no use unless you use those words in your day-to-day -day conversation and generate a recall. That's the best way to remember vocabulary. Now, for the grammar part, you need not cover everything in its entirety. Your aim should be to ace the IP mat and not become grammarians. So if you go and do all the elementary stuff, that's good for you as a human being. But if you're running short of time, then it is not as efficient. You can cover Ren and Martin. It's a good source to refer to, but then it covers all the topics comprehensively and is not geared towards entrance examinations. So going that deep in a topic isn't required. So that can as well turn out to be counterproductive for you because you're going to cover everything in entirety and that will take up a lot of your time, which you would have otherwise spent on practicing. Some topics of grammar can be reduced just to a couple of rules that are required to solve the questions. For example, in nouns, if you learn types of nouns like common noun, proper noun, abstract nouns, etc. If you go ahead and try to dig deep into this topic, it's good for learning the language but not as helpful from the entrance point of view. If you master the difference between countable and uncountable nouns, that will suffice for solving all the aptitude test questions. That is the only part of this particular topic which you'll be questioned on. So you need to focus on the specifics which are actually asked in the exam. If you're also appearing for the SAT, make sure to do some SAT specific practice tests as this exam follows a very structured format of questions. So the type of questions are more or less similar. If you're already comfortable with that, you'll score really well in SAT writing and language. And that is why if you go to our schedule, we have a specific time dedicated just for SAT practice. And now let's talk about verbal logic or reasoning. This is a topic which isn't a part of the IPMAT Indoor or SAT, but will come in other BBA entrance examinations. So you'll need to practice it regardless. It's easily doable once you know the format of the questions and the correct approach. Moderate practice will do. You need not worry about these topics as such. Then you have the miscellaneous topics in verbal ability like para jumbles, para completion, para summary, etc. Again, these are topics which shouldn't take up much of your time and are doable in a couple of days. But make sure when you're doing para jumbles, you're also solving the theta questions, which is a type in the answer. Those can get real tricky at times. Moving on to my concluding thoughts about the same. Verbal ability is not concept heavy. That is, even if you join us for an entrance preparation, the lectures aren't that long. You can comfortably cover each and everything that can be asked in this section for competitive exams in just 15 hours of lecturing along with examples. But it requires consistent efforts on your part in terms of practicing. Reading is essential, not just for reading comprehension questions, but the entire verbal ability section. Not just that, Having a good grasp at reading will help you understand even the quants questions better and you'll make less of silly mistakes. Cut the fluff and double down your efforts on what's important. 
Again, the time is limited and if you are covering grammar and other topics comprehensively, you lose out on time which could have been spent on practicing. So, make sure you are taking care of that. That's it for the session and good luck for your preparation. Also, just so you know, ACE IPMs, IPM 21 preparation batch registrations are closing soon. So, book your free counseling session today on our website aceipm.com slash counseling and get enrolled to ace this exam in your very first attempt. Thank you and have a nice day.